Hello, beer drinkers. I'm Bobby Covina. And I'm Professor Bill. And this is the West, West Coast, Coast Beer Cast. Cast. Now we're going pretty far west coast. What do we have today? Island beers. So Refreshing. starting in the ocean. Has to be somewhere in the ocean. It's brewed on land. On an yeah, brewed on an island. That's way better. To qualify for this episode. <laughs> or on a boat in the ocean. Yes. But there are no brewers like that. So there you have it, island loggers. They're going to be refreshing. They're not all loggers, but oh, it's catchy. I like it. Yeah. And for summertime, you want something cool, something easy drinking. So that's what we're going to hopefully meet those standards, but kick it up a little bit with some flavor. Some you got it. flavor beers. So we're going to see. All right. So first up, we have Red Stripe in the Western Caribbean. Yes, the quintessential island lager, yeah. perhaps. Yeah, if you want an island lager, this is it. It's like Good next to Mother's Milk, that's pretty much what they drink in Jamaica. Yeah. Traveling west to the beautiful island of Hawaii, we're going to look at uh, three Kona brewing. First one is the Kona Longboard Lager. Tasty. Got this one. Should Maybe be a hot afternoon. Just kind of mellow. Mow the lawn. Enjoy a nice longboard. So continuing the Kona. And run. ale. Wailua. Wheat ale brewed with passion fruit. This there you is, go. I'm looking forward to that. Our final the Kona trifecta. The Kona Fire Rock Pale Ale. This is one of the first ones that they debuted in 95 when Kona Brewing started out. It's an ale, should be pretty straightforward. All right, if you're into blondes. And who isn't? I'm not. Actually. Not me. I'm, I'm not. Not at all. Not at all. Not in any way. Maui Brewing Company. So another Hawaii brewery, but on Maui instead of on the island of Kona. Uh, bikini Blonde Lager. So. Got it. It's supposed to be a little bolder. Then we haven't tried it, but we'll talk about the can soon. Um, on the mainland, uh, a ripoff here. We have the uh, land so, shark. This one got in. It's not brewed on an island, but it's island style lager, uh, brewed by Margarita Margaritaville Brewing Company. Land shark. It's actually very tasty, though. Kind of like a Kona style. All right, all right, and finally, we have our first featured home brewer who has just walked in. Andrew, get, get over here. here. Big group for Andrew. Big group for Andrew. She will uh, have her, yeah, just protect your crotch. <laughs> so, what are we drinking? Uh, I brought some uh, Irish stout. Nice, nice. Homebrew? Irish stout, yeah. awesome. Homebrewed Irish stout. Fantastic. All right. So, I'm not going with the island theme. But nothing to yeah. do with the island theme. Yeah. Now, do you brew that in your bathtub or do you have like a separate? Uh, in the garage. In the garage, yeah. okay, better. I've heard some people do it in the bathtub and I thought, I just want to make sure that. That's the next step. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's take a look. I'm probably out of frame. We'll take a look at uh, the history of Island Beers. Hey man, hey man. the Island Beers are beers that are brewed on an island. Furthermore, they are typically refreshing beers, man. Often, the island beer is a lager. The lager is a beer that is bottom fermented, man. By contrast, the ale is top fermented. And if you want more information, man, you got to visit the Google. The Google. The Google. All right, so uh, thanks, Ziggy, for that history lesson on island lagers. Yeah. Turns out they're drinkable. Yeah. Who would have thought? Yeah. So at first, here's our red stripe. Hooray. All right. We don't even smell. I like that. Just go <laughs> for it. I've kind of had red stripe before, so. Yeah, I know. You know. That's wow. true. It smells worse. I didn't coming realize. Out of the yeah. Background. I didn't remember it being this sweet. It is. It's quite sweet. It reminds me of our last episode. Fizzier and yellower than I remember. Much tastier though. Mm. That's for sure. And color's pretty much pretty light. Yeah. Hardly any head. No nose. Refreshing. 
great if it's a hot day. It's already quenched my thirst, and I've had like two sips. Yeah. Yeah. It's quenched my thirst, and I wasn't even thirsty. It's making me like bringing back those memories of like the hot, humid Jamaican weather, where you. Your pores are just wide open and the air is so heavy you can choke on it. It's great. For those that Love have it. been to Jamaica. Mm. I have. I know what he's talking about. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. Just all right. brought back all those memories. Well, yeah. Maybe that's why I don't like it as much. Yeah. Well, you have to go. All right. Fair enough. All right. All right. Well, this is even lighter in color than the yes, yes. red strip. First of our Kona's, the Longboard Island Lager. Smells like absolutely nothing. <laughs> kind of citrusy. Do you think? If you imagine it. My nose is very sensitive to hops, so I can... Yeah? Yeah. I can smell a little hop aroma. Tinged? Mmm. Mm, I like that better. Wow. Definitely a lot more, a lot more bitter. Yeah. More bitter? I wouldn't say hoppy to me. Just not hoppy. Bitter, but not... Bitter, right? You think of hops and bitter, but it's, it's not a hoppy beer. Not overpowering, no. No. Bitter in a non hoppy way. Yeah. Who would have thunk? Yeah, well, how do they do that? I don't know. Refreshing? Not as refreshing as Red Sprite, but. To me, it is. It's, it's more a refreshing. It's creamier, don't you think? Yeah. Creamy finish? It's got some creaminess. Not creamy up front, not like Boddington's where it, it hits you with the cream and stays there. Like a creamy orange, uh, orange aid finish. It has a, 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 a slightly drier finish as well. In the, in what do you see? Dry and creamy? Dry and creamy. Dry and creamy. It's another one. Not two words I've put together, but... Yeah. But it is, it, right? It is, yeah. So you try this and tell us we're wrong. Yeah, dry and creamy. How do they do that? Anyway, I enjoy it. Yeah. All right. So now we're on the Wailua. Wheat... Ale with um, like a half kind of thing, but the passion fruit. The passion fruit. Tell us about the passion fruit. Or did you? Oh. Whoa! <laughs> the passion fruit. Whoa! It smells like that pancake syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Very yeah, this is gonna be sweet. This is a treat. I All can right, smell this and. Oh lord! Ooh, that's sweet. That is very sweet. Got this for breakfast. <laughs> You pour this on your pancakes. Oh this my is like god! Blackberry soda or something. Mm. It is. It reminds me more of a of a cola, like a than black a cherry beer. cola. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, was a black, oh. black cherry. Okay. Well. You pour this on a shave ice. I, I wonder if. Uh, I don't know. We should start that. <laughs> the Wailua shave ice. Hmm. What do you think? It's, it's good. It's different. I don't normally go for the fruity beers, but this isn't your typical. Yeah, it's supposed to be a beer. wheat. I'm not getting the wheat. Not at all. Just it, it's yeah. overpowering. It's way too clear to be a wheat beer. In my yeah. Opinion. Yeah, how they. That's. Yeah, so now we're on the Fire Rock Pale Ale. Fire Rock, last of the Kona. Um, much, much darker caramel. Yeah. Roasted caramel. Supposed to be pretty malty. Doesn't smell much. Kind of sour. Kind of sour nose in a not good way. This is a pale, right? Mm-hmm. It's a pale. Not very pale for a pale. No. I'm getting just tastes like a sour to me, I'm like a Belgian. Really? Mm. Without the oomph, but just the. The initial attack, it's It's sour. sweet, um, the initial attack, and then it goes bitter. Yeah, right? I can't get no, past... I don't get sour, I'm getting sweet and then bitter. I can't get past the, the sour nose. That's all I can taste now. Dry, uh, at the end. Yeah. It's got that, like... You can definitely tell it's pale. Yeah. Malty finish, super dry and malty. That's it. Drinkable? Yeah. yeah. Very drinkable. I mean, it's for people who like lighter uh, pale ales, you know, not too much of the hop. I don't know where it gets in the back of the, the jaw. I mean, it doesn't have that. So it's maybe an entry to uh, pale ales for 
so people that yeah they can't go with the over overbearing hop. Yeah. So your friend that drinks fizzy yellow beer. Yeah. yeah well, transition them to fire it's, up. It's non, it's hoppy in a non jaw locking way. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Now we're on to the Maui Brewing Company's Bikini Blonde. Bikini Blonde in a can. Now. Oh, yeah. uh, let me tell you about the can. Of course, the can tells you about the can, so you could just read it from the can. But um, lots of brewers are switching over to the can. No light gets in, and that's a good thing for beer. Very true. No oxidation. And it chills faster. Which is a good thing, and it's way more recyclable. So if not that you choose your beer by container, but clear and green, not good. It lets all the light in. It does nothing to protect it. This protects it. Okay. So, didn't protect the flavor, the nose, there's no nose. No nose. Wow. It is a blonde, though. Tastes like a blonde. I haven't had a lot of blondes, so. It's light, refreshing. Almost a slight soapy aftertaste. Yeah. Could be the chips, though. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now we have our pretend island lager. Yeah, the, the mainland. Land shark. Land shark. At least they admit to it with the title. Yeah. We're land shark. We're not even a real island. Anyway. Hmm. Uneventful nose. Smells like, smells like a Corona to me. Yeah. Tastes like a Corona. I don't even taste it. This is what I would have if I lived 300 years ago and didn't have clean water. This would be my breakfast. It tastes like that 1% thing that I imagine when I read about beer. This tastes like a Corona, only better. Like if they had a Corona Extra. Well, they do have a Corona Extra. The um, Extra, extra. extra. The Corona Extra, Extra. extra. The Premium. That's what this would be. Yeah. Like they use good water instead of whatever they use down south. I'm... Um, I mean, I hardly even taste anything. It needs some lime. It really does. And then they should put you lime squeeze in Squeeze some it. lime in there. And then you got a picture that it's about 108 degrees out. All right, 108 and degrees. And you're is... really thirsty, and you open up one of these, and it's ice cold, like almost frozen. Yeah. That Then it would taste really good. Okay, so this is another first for the West Coast Beer Cast. Yes, first of many, hopefully. Our That's home awesome. brewer, Andrew of... Uh, Cattle Drive Brewing Company. Cattle Drive Brewing Company. <laughs> so don't Google yeah, him. Not, well, not you can, yet. just you won't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. he's not online. It? Walk us through. Uh, this is Black Hops. It's a traditional Irish stout uh, brewed at my home in my garage. Uh, just kind of grabbed an ingredient from my local homebrew supplier and went with it. I wanted to try a stout, so. Uh, my first attempt at it, and I feel it came out pretty good. All nice. right. So Irish Stout, Black Hops. Black Hops. Cattle Dry Brewing Company. Come on. Come on. Ooh, sweet. Sweet nose. Beautiful color. Look at that. Yeah. Stark. Beautiful Definitely stark. not an island beer. No. Wow. Ooh, that's a hoppy, caramely finish. That's pretty thick. I love the finish. It reminds me of the Stone Sublimely Self-Righteous Ale. Remember that dark IPA? Mm-hmm. It reminds me of that without like the, the grab of the IPA. So definitely stouty, but it... I, I actually noticed with uh, this being my uh, second homebrew, uh, Believe it or not, the temperature that the beer is poured at really uh, affects it. Really defines different different notes in the beer, different flavors. Um, a little little bit warmer, and it you really get a full coffee flavor. We should fast forward and uh, and try it a bit warmer. But Black Ops, flavors. just a little bit warmer. A little warmer. Black Ops. 
Black Ops. And that's cool. You could have the H like real small, so it's barely there. And it's just Black Ops. Similar to the video game. Just yeah, yeah. In I, beer form. I caught that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I taste the coffee a lot now. Like, there's a lot more of an attack. Like when you have, when you have a Starbucks or something like a bold one, and then it's sitting there for a while, and you got that that little swig left, mm. and it gets like room temperature, and you forgot that it's room temperature, and, you, and it's like the grounds and everything, and you drink it, oh. you get all that coffee flavor. Yeah, that's like what this is. Potent. Okay, now it's time for the Professor Bill Rundown All right, and so, Pick of the Week. Yeah, yeah, So the Rundown. Our first one was Red Stripe. Just Hooray. like a stock, just go-to island beer. Something refreshing, something light, something mellow. You're going to reach for the Red Stripe. Tried and true. And I would imagine if you're in Jamaica... You don't have much choice. Yeah. And you enjoy that. it more. Yes. On to Kona, the Longboard Island Lager solid when I imagined this episode and thought about a, a crisp refreshing interesting lager I didn't know but I was thinking about the longboard solid and refreshing it's like the the island beer I've been holding in my heart kind of why Lua um, that was our passion fruit I think you guys would agree it's awesome for about three ounces and then you need either pour it on shaved ice or do something with it. Yeah. Give it to your your friend that only likes ciders or wine coolers. That's about it. Anything else? Good good beer to brag about. Hey, I got this beer. It tastes like fruit. Yeah. So the Fire Rock. Mm-hmm. That was all right. Kind of darker and different category to me. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a pale, so yeah. it is a different category. Oh, um, top fermenting. Pale. Maui Brewing Company, the blonde. Mm. Mm-hmm. Kind of fell flat. Bleh. Looks good. Up, looks good at first glance. Looks super cool. The can looks awesome. I love the yeah. idea of the can. And good from far. Yeah. Also about as good as it gets. Then after about two hours over dinner, you're ready to. Done. Yeah. 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 Um, and finally, Land Shark. The Land Shark loggers. You know, Land Shark and water to me. I nothing. I got nothing. Like Corona Premium. Yeah. Like Water Light. Yeah. Sorry. And then uh, we also had our... Humber. Black Hops. Come on. <laughs> Count dry. So it was time for the... Pick, pick of, of the, the week. week. And while I think that Red Strep is the quintessential... You know... Island beer. I'm gonna have to go with longboard lager. When I thought about what I wanted an island beer to taste like, in my heart, in my palate, I think about the longboard lager. It's refreshing, it's delicious, complex enough, but doesn't really make you think. On a hot day, you can reach for this and enjoy it, but it's, it's flavorful even on an evening. So let's put it in the pick of the week box. Like a soundtrack buff, but a buff. All right. So there it is. I will be enjoying mine in my Kona Brewing Liquid Aloha Pint Glass. Andrew will be enjoying his in his pirate mug. Arr. Brought to you Arr. by uh, Annie and Dan, who live in Hawaii. Shout out to those guys. Thanks for the mug. We're making good use of it. Cheers. And uh, Bobby K just has in his, his Bobby K size mug. Giant mug. So I am Professor Bill. I'm Bobby Covina. And I'm Andrew. Saying, now that's a beer. beer.